And here's a guy I like to listen to, our chief yeah. meteorologist, David Carnes. This is Local 3. See? Okay. Not That's bad. what I'm talking about right there. Hey, by the way, if you ever get a chance, Google him uh, at a ball game. He recited the uh, Star, Sang Star Spangled Banner. Star Spangled Cool. Bed. Okay. It was really we'll neat. Do that. It was awesome. Uh, okay, quick look outside. 87 degrees in Chattanooga, 84 in Cleveland, and 88 Scottsboro. It feels good outside. Humidity is still fairly low. Sky Watchers beginning to check in. 82 in Mowbray. Made it 87 in Cleveland, 90 in Somerville, and 85 degrees in Dunlap. 89 Jasper, 91 in Delano. Uh, zooming out, we got the sunshine right now, but oh, look what's coming. Can you tell the tropical system where the uh, outer edge is? Yeah, it's beginning to work some cloud cover, and this is all cloud cover, very little in the way of rain, uh, but that cloud cover is going to be with us tonight and then mostly cloudy tomorrow. Uh, do expect winds to begin to pick up. That's going to be one feature of this tropical system in the Tennessee Valley. Uh, we're going to have wind gusts getting in excess of 20 up to 30 miles per hour uh, by Thursday. Here is the latest with Tropical Storm Francine. Uh, this is the 3 o'clock advisory, 65 mile per hour wind becomes a Category 1 hurricane, makes landfall west of New Orleans with heavy rain, storm surge, gusty winds, then continues northward as it dissipates. You're going to see those rain showers moving through Chattanooga, but notice the heaviest rain stays to the west. The low will continue working its way northward and continue giving us chances for rain through probably Saturday, maybe as late as Sunday. Potential for rainfall, again, heaviest rain, 4 to 5 inches of rain to the west here in the Tennessee Valley one to three inches of rain Thursday through Saturday. Along where we're going to see it making landfall, we could see anywhere from five to ten inches of rain west of New Orleans. Some flooding expected there in New Orleans, four inches, and you can see four to five along the rest of the Gulf, Gulf Coast stretching through the Florida Panhandle. Okay, uh, taking a look at our storm surge, that's going to be another issue. Now again, this general area, they're expecting five to ten inches of rain plus nine foot at least storm surge surge heavy flooding is going to be present in and around New Orleans. We're going to see up to six foot storm surge, so it is going to be an issue there. Out in the tropics, we also have another system with an 80% chance of developing into a tropical depression within the next seven days. So lots going on in the tropics. So let's get to how it impacts us with our future scan. And you're going to see maybe as late as Wednesday night, early as Wednesday night, a few showers working their way through. I do think it's mainly going to be Thursday when we start to see that heavier rain moving in. It's going to be a wet commute Thursday morning with scattered showers continuing on and off through the day Thursday. And that's going to be the case really through the day on Friday and even into Saturday. We'll see some of those showers lingering. I think we'll finally start to see it clearing out as we head into our Sunday and Monday. And then we'll return to dry conditions for next week with highs back in the mid 80s. So for tonight, 63 degrees, clouds overnight. We'll climb up to on our storm alert seven day forecast 88. Got those those gusty winds Thursday and Friday, rain likely Thursday and Friday and Saturday as well. And then we'll see the rain showers tapering off highs in the mid 80s for next week.